Hi, I'm Chris Wright. I'm the UK Sales Manager for Audience. I'm here at Music Messer 2015 with our Technical Director, Tom Waterman, to talk to you about two very new exciting products from Audience. All right, great. First up, we'll introduce ID14, which is our new uh, interface, USB bus-powered interface. And uh, that's the really big selling point, is that this is bus-powered, whereas previously, before our ID22 was a 12-volt voltage adapter. Now, that's presented quite a lot of engineering challenges. The biggest one was actually still running the Class A audio mic pre's, the discrete mic pre's, on USB bus power, which is only 5 volts at 500 milliamps. So, quite a lot of engineering has gone into this to generate complicated power supplies internally um, with differential or balanced feedback in the mic pre's to give us really good input headroom, that same classic audience sound with the uh, openness and brightness that you find that everyone loves when they're recording, sort of punchy drums and bright acoustic guitars, that sort of thing. On top of the two mic pre's, which have uh, combi XLR line input on the, the back there. You have two speaker outputs which are controlled by this large custom milled aluminium knob here on the on the right hand side. By pressing the speaker switch you would select the volume of speaker um, playback. If you press the encoder that puts it into mute so you still have a handy mute for when you get sort of a loud event happening that you want to just mute the speakers to protect them really quickly. You can switch between speaker volume and headphone volume. We've listened to our end users and put the headphone output on the front so that you can easily grab and go effectively. That has its own mute as well if you uh, press the encoder. So between the two, you've got a uh, very quick and easy control over your control room playback levels and your artist mix. It has a low latency DSP mixer application so you can create your key mixes for separate artists. We still have included the talkback routing functionality and all of that stuff. And I'll let Chris explain the sort of tour de force feature that is the ID button in the middle. So we've now got the revolutionary scroll control as we describe it. So an additional uh, function that you can assign to the ID button that Tom's talked about in the middle. Any parameters in your DAW or plug-in windows that have scroll wheel enabled, you can now control these with the knob on ID14. So just hover the mouse over the control and that instantly maps to the uh, endless encoder on the ID14. So you can really get hands-on integration just like you're adjusting a piece of hardware. Absolutely, so that's really a, most of the major plugin vendors, uh, Cubase, Logic, some of the Pro Tools, new Avid plugins, I know you'll be crucial with those ones, so the new uh, the channel strip uh, plugins, great. You can sort of sweep around, notch out frequencies, all that sort of stuff, so wonderful really. And the beautiful thing that we sort of overlooked on the back is the ADAT optical input. So here you can expand ID14 for 10 channels in, four channels out, that's why it's ID14. And that optical input will accept ADAT from either our ASP880, the classic eight channel mic pre, or our new baby, the ASP800.